Cinderella has such goodness and inner beauty and strength. That's how she manages to deal with the stepmother and the stepsisters. Who's this for? Is there someone we've forgotten? <laughs> it's my place. Wouldn't you prefer to eat when all the work is done, Ella? Or should I say Cinderella? <laughs> Because of her goodness, they misuse her and they treat her like she's nothing. So it challenges her and she has to escape the house. And that's when she meets the prince. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you all right? You shouldn't be this deep in the forest alone. I love the relationship in this film between the prince and Cinderella. I'm not alone. I'm with you. Miss, what do they call you? Never mind what they call me. It's not that he just comes in and sweeps her off her feet. It's very an equal meeting. What do they call you? You don't know who I am. Okay, he happens to be a prince. He happens to have a castle. <laughs> ah! Wake up, your royal highness. You're in a daze. I hope to see you again, miss. And I you. They have wonderful chemistry. When they look at each other, you feel a deep connection. That wonderful girl, I can't stop thinking about. These two characters, the connection they have with each other, even though they're far apart. You will be king soon. A prince is not free to follow his heart. He must marry for the good of the kingdom. There shall be held a royal ball. He is willing to defy the king, to hold this ball, to find her. Let the invitations go to everyone. It's a serious act of love. It is a fairy tale painting. It surpasses what the animation could ever do. And it makes it even more breathtaking. The girl from the forest, it's you. Or the last echo of the last bell. The last stroke of midnight. Wait! The spell will be broken. Are you looking for this? It must be quite a story to go with it.